obviously something that concerns many people nowadays is the sugar content of what their horse is eating. Yep. To give a little bit of reassurance, we're going to go through the sugar levels of some common feeds that your customers are probably feeding their horses and horse licks and show that actually there's not an awful lot to be concerned about when it comes to using horse licks as a distraction when you're their horse is being shot. Okay. So in front of us, we have four jars, our sugar jars. And the first one from our left contains 240 grams of sugar. Then we have one that contains 82 and a half grams of sugar, a thousand grams of sugar. And the last one on our right here contains 2000 grams. So these contain the sugar that's contributed to the diet from for regular feedstuffs. Okay. And that's when fed at recommended levels for a 500 kilogram horse. The four feedstuffs that would relate to these feed, to these sugar jars include hay, a typical cool mix that you'd find anywhere. Yep. Grass and a horse six balancer. Okay. okay. And it's matching up the sugar jar to the feed. Okay? Okay. So it might surprise you that actually the lowest jar of sugar, 82 and a half grams of sugar, is what you would get from a horse six balancer when fed at the recommended daily amounts. Right, and that's ad lib. That is when they self-regulate for a daily amount. Okay. So that's when they have regular access over 24 hours. Okay. We generally find the majority of horses self-regulate to this quantity. Okay. Okay. So moving on, we'll go to the first jar on the left. 240 grams of sugar and that's what you'd expect from a typical cool mix. A typical cool mix is 8% sugar. That's a fair amount of sugar. Yeah, because if you're feeding it the recommended amount to get all your vitamins and minerals, for a 500 kilogram horse you'd feed 3 kilograms of your mix. Yep. And 240 grams of sugar is what you would get from there. Okay. And that, in comparison to your horse looks balancer at 33% sugar, there's a big difference there's a really. a big difference. Yeah. It's the total amount of food that goes in mm -hmm. over the day as opposed to the percentage of sugar that people should be worried about. Okay. Moving on, we're obviously left with hay and grass. So the thousand grams, the one kilogram of sugar, gets contributed to the diet from hay. Approximately 10 kilograms of hay in the dry matter would contribute one kilogram of sugar to the diet. And people never worry about feeding hay. No. So they shouldn't be too worried about feeding horse licks. No. And what, if you soaked that hay, how much sugar, con sugar content do you lose? It is a, it's very variable. Okay. It depends on how long you soak it for. Okay. What the hay was to start with. Okay. I, including what, sugar con what water content the hay was to start with. Yep. So reducing, so, sorry. So soaking your hay will always reduce the sugar content. Yeah. But by how much depends on how properly soaked it is, how much under the water it is, as opposed to just running a hose pipe over it. Yeah. And how long you leave it in the water for. Okay. So it will reduce it. Considerably. Considerably. Depending on how you use and what methods you use. Yes. Okay. okay. It's and that's quite a lot of sugar that you have to lose out of that hay. Yeah, yeah. So you're not gonna lose it all. No. You will lose some of it, but you won't lose it all. Okay. Um, reducing the sugar is gonna be easier by reducing the, hay, the sugar in the hay than it is by worrying about your horse licks. Yep. Um, but also to show that the recommended amount of a horse licks balancer has less sugar in it than one kilogram of hay does. I know, that's mad. That's ludicrous. It's quite, it's amazing. Mm. I'm quite shocked at the, the levels of sugar you've got in front of me. Yeah. yeah. But I think, as well, most people know that this will be grass. Yes. Most people accept that the largest source of sugar in a horse's diet is grass. Yeah. And it can be anywhere up to 25% and more when it's growing sugar content. So reducing your grass intake is the quickest way to reduce your sugar intake. And remembering that this has all your vitamins and minerals in, so you are balancing the diet, you're balancing those nutrient deficiencies in your forage and your grazing by adding it horse licks in. And for you doing your job, it's important that 
you remain safe. Yes. The handler of the horse remains safe. Yeah. And you get your job done. Yeah. And the horse is also happy. And actually, this is not going to... A, it's not stood over a hay net. Mm -hmm. So it's not intaking hay. Mm -hmm. It's not intaking this amount of sugar. Um, but it is actually remaining still and comfortable for us to shoe it mm -hmm. and not intaking vast amounts of sugar. No, it's not. Something like that isn't something to worry about. The one statement I would make is that any horse which is on restricted rations of hay and forage, any forage, that should never be allowed free access to a horse licks. Okay. However, when you're shoeing, it's not free access. It's simply using it as an ideal distraction for the, keep, duration. For the duration of the shoeing. Yeah. And that isn't going to affect the, the amount in the diet no. by any great means. No. Brilliant.